well good morning this is jason coming at you um it's been a couple weeks since i got to talk to you uh but uh, it's good to be back i got my early early morning workout in this morning and i um, starting to get back in the swing of things as some of you guys know <laughs> um i had a freak uh um freak accident freak low back accident that oh look at that bunny going back there Instead of squirrel, oh, you can't see it now. Instead of squirrel, it's bunny. <laughs> but um, I had a freak low back accident on my right SI joint. Um, I, well, I popped that sucker out, <laughs> you know, and, uh, or in one of the two. Which way you want to look at it? I had uh, a chronic thing going on with my low back for for years. Uh, really didn't affect me and much of what I did, but um, it was rotated in a certain direction and it was jammed. And I'm just blaming it on all the basketball and jumping that I've always done. But without getting much into that, but I, I popped it. it sounded like a shotgun going off and, and I was just stretching. <laughs> um, I was actually got done with a really good stretching routine and um, and did well. I was feeling good. But I tried to do that one move where I was trying to get my sacrum and moving and in a certain um position and i i just overdid it and it it popped and busted out a lot of scar tissue which basically what that means is that i couldn't bend over and tie my shoes <laughs> and so um the good news is i couldn't you know not that i couldn't work out but i kept all my other things that i was doing going you know as far as you know all the eating and 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 devotion time and everything else like that but it didn't it didn't it didn't work out as, as planned you know as i was i was getting getting going so now i'm i'm changing up my workouts a little bit you know i'm gonna do a, a combination of a hybrid of um weight lifting and and running because i just got i i just have different goals as we're moving into this next phase i just have different goals in my life but it definitely wasn't it definitely wasn't convenient i mean this time usually when something happens you know when you you start having pain in the area a lot of times you 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 get this discouraged um in that and and although i had a pretty good um streak going you know because i was just getting back into certain things um this time i had the pain but i wasn't i wasn't so so discouraged because I knew uh, what direction I'm heading into it, and this might have been a delay, but uh, in in my my schedule, it might have been a delay in what I was trying to accomplish. But um, I knew that it wasn't going to stop me. I might have to modify a few things. You might have to adjust a few things, but it wasn't going to stop me in what I was trying to stop was trying to accomplish. And and I was like, I was asking guys, like, you know what what is going on here? Um, um, with, with, with this, because this was kind of, this was a kind of a freakish thing, you know, this, this really didn't make any sense. I was like, do I need better bedside manner for my patients? You know, they come in with these, because I really didn't relate too much to low back pain. Never really, I only had it one other time. That was when I was, um, deadlifting, which it's a terrible name for a lift, deadlifting. That just sounds like it should hurt you, <laughs> deadlift. Stop doing deadlifts. But um, anyway, uh, um, I, just, I, was just, I was just wondering, you know, do I need more empathy for my patients? You know, I want to feel what's going on. But um, this might sound like a strange answer, but, you know, um, what I got back was like you know i need you to i need you to slow down because there's going to be some things happening in these next two weeks that i don't need you to overreact not that god caused my pain and not that god caused my back to go out. i tried to do a stupid stretch that i shouldn't be doing <laughs> that's what did it i did that but i do realize that when you're moving forward there's a lot of different things that resistance that people will we'll come under and 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 we've been under a lot of different resistances you know um as as we've been moving forward so but any stretch of the imagination um the, the the word to me was don't overreact and we had some good things happen and we had some pretty 
difficult things you know that we've been maneuvering through happen and you know as as good as some of the stuff was i didn't overreact for even in the good stuff like over over zealous and some of the bad stuff i didn't overreact because i knew it wasn't over either way it's not over whether it's good or bad god is still good you know whether it's good or bad you know it's um it's it's not going to affect the direction that we're going because we made we we already have a made up mind and that's what was different this time is that even though we were in pain even though i was in pain um you know you have a tendency when things don't go right you tend to get discouraged and that was what was different this time i was in pain but i wasn't discouraged because i knew in whom i put my trust and also knew um the direction that that we were going so if that's if, if you guys can even relate to that i don't know and if you still listen that's great but um but i'm after two weeks i'm back back in the game and um, at least this part of the game uh i kept the devotions and praying and i got a brand brand new uh focus you know for the direction that we need to be going because of where this country is what state of health um this nation is in um and in all ways physical health mental health financial health spiritual health it's 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 a it's a debacle and um and i think and i don't think i know that god is calling many of us up to be the right examples in any one of those areas um so that we can uh make a positive impact on people's lives because there's one thing that i see um constantly and, you know and this is even with me coming off a two-week break because i injured myself but it's consistency it's consistency and, you know and just because one area is not you know you, you take a delay in one area doesn't mean you can't stay consistent in other areas so um so i'm back at it i'm excited to be um you know i'm in this going in this direction so i hope you guys are having a, um, a beautiful morning and i will talk with you soon